guys welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see by the title this video is not the florida vlog that was promised to you this week has been insane i have so much to update you guys on even though this isn't the florida vlog that i promised you i do hope that you enjoy this video so yeah you can see that i'm not in florida um there is no florida vlog coming uh long story short the trip actually had to be canceled which i will explain what happened and all that so because of everything that's been going on this week and how hectic everything has been the canceling of my florida vacation and all of that i decided that we should film a house tour today since that is what's been taking up all my time lately I'm going to explain everything that's been going on and give you guys a full update of what's going on with my house, what's going on with trying to sell my house and also buying a farm and everything. So if you're interested in a full update of everything going on with buying the farm and selling the house and all of that, feel free to stick around. But if you are not, feel free to fast forward to this number on the screen and that will take you right into the house tour. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's talk about a quick update of what has been going on, why I'm not in Florida, why I had to cancel my trip, and just why we're doing a house tour today. What is going on? So long story short, which is probably going to honestly be a long story long because everything has just been insane. I've been so stressed out. It's not even funny. That's why this is probably the only video that you guys are going to see from me this week because things have just been crazy. All of the animals are doing good. I'll just pin that note right here. The animals are doing good. Um, everything has been going very normal with them. Blue is still asleep. Co is still crazy. The fish are doing really good, which you're going to see in this video. But my personal life in terms of the house, you guys may or may not know. If you're familiar with my channel, then you guys know I want a farm. We are looking to buy a farm, and that is a process that we started a long time ago, but really like got down and serious about within the last couple months. And we are basically looking for land and looking for a farm. Earlier this year, my family planned a trip to Florida and you guys know I was supposed to leave for Florida actually last weekend, but it ended up getting canceled because, so the story with that is basically a couple weeks ago, there was actually a farm that we did find that was under our budget. It was perfect. It was five acres. It had a farmhouse on it and everything. It was like, I really can't describe to you how much I want this farm. I still want this farm. Um, we absolutely loved it. We got all our ducks in a row to where we could put in an offer on it and everything. I mentioned this on Instagram too. I did one post about how we were going to be offering on it, which we did. And honestly, it was looking really good. It was looking like our offer was going to go through and that we would get accepted and potentially we will have found our farm, which I just couldn't even believe it. However, unfortunately, right when we put an offer in, someone else did as well. And the seller was basically weighing both of our options, ours and the other person. If you've ever bought a house, you know that this is a horrible process. Buying a house, especially in a really hot market like it is right now, is really difficult. You lose so many properties. You might fall in love with something and you lose it and that's just the way that it is. Like it's very competitive and it's really, really, really hard to find exactly what you're looking for. So the fact that we found this farm and it was like everything we wanted and more. It was like a two-story farmhouse, five acres. Oh my God, it was so perfect. It was everything I wanted. Um, unfortunately, like I said, someone offered on it right when we did. So the seller was basically weighing who he wanted to sell it to. And long story short, the seller basically picked the other person. However, instead of just picking the other person's offer and then just going forward with just them, the seller actually asked my agent if we would actually leave our offer in on it as well as a backup essentially. So when you're buying a house, lots of things can happen. You can lose a house after inspection. You can lose a house because it has termites. Financing can fall through, like anything can happen. So basically the seller asked that we would basically keep our offer in and Patrick and I want this farm so badly, we decided to do that. However, because we were basically on a back burner to possibly get this farm, even though our chances are very slim, we basically had to cancel our Florida trip and stay here and basically just continue packing, continue renovating the house. We have been painting, laying new flooring, basically getting this house 100% ready to move because if we were to get the farm, we have to have this house ready to sell like that. It's really stressful. It's a very long process. And we've essentially been sitting around for a week already, basically just waiting for a phone call to say, hey, you guys are gonna get the farm or hey, you're not. Normally you would find out within 24 hours or 48 hours if you got it or not, but because our situation is so different and, and the seller wants us to keep our offer in on it, it's really confusing and it's complicated. And basically we don't have the farm, but yet we also still have a chance to get it. 
if that makes sense. It's really confusing and it sucks. And basically it's just two weeks of misery because we essentially just have to sit around and wait to hear if we lost it or not. Um, so that's where we're at. It's been really stressful. I've been trying to stay really positive because even though the odds are very slim that we'll get this particular farm, I'm trying to stay positive. You know, people always say the perfect thing will come along, you know, and I know that that tends to be true, but it's really, really difficult when you see the perfect property and it's just slipping away and you're kind of just in this limbo, just waiting around. It's really hard, um, but I am trying to stay positive even though I know our chances are very, very slim with this particular property. I want to insert a picture of the land of the property, not the house, just the field that we would get because it's breathtaking and perfect and uh, wish us luck. Wish us positive thoughts. And yeah, so we ended up canceling the Florida trip, unfortunately. My farm is more important to me than a vacation. You know, I can go on vacation anytime, but I needed to stay here and we needed to get the house 100%. And basically now it is done. The house is completely ready to sell. I've never done a full house tour before. Um, I've never done that on my channel just because I filmed in each room. You know what I mean? Like I filmed in my bedroom, I filmed my dining room, my kitchen, but I've never done like a full on house tour. So I thought since we're gonna be selling the house pretty soon, hopefully, I would do a full house tour for you guys so you guys could see this house that we're currently in and then hopefully we'll be moving soon so it's not a big deal and then we will get the farm and we'll be able to move to the farm and stuff. That is the dream, that's the goal, that's the plan. So yeah, I'm gonna do a tour of the house. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so whenever you walk in the door, this is what you see. This is my living room. There's my couch, there's my show, there's Icy and then Dixie's on the floor in her blanket. So this is what you see. You can see the walls are bare. I don't have any photos or anything up other than the ones on the mantle above the fireplace. But yeah, the walls are clear for a reason all through the house because we are trying to get the house cell ready. But basically this is what you see. This is my living room here. This is my bedroom, which I'm gonna show you guys my bedroom in a second, but we'll finish the tour out here. Here is my corner fireplace and the mantle. We actually have to remove all of our photos, you know, because you don't want like people viewing your house to see your photos. So we'll have to take those down, but yeah, this is the fireplace. It is a corner fireplace. It's kind of unique. Um, I really loved it. It was a big reason why I wanted this house when we bought it. Um, I think the fireplace is really pretty. And yeah, I really, really like it. You see here, this is the other wall in the living room. There is an entertainment center. Ignore the hallway. This is all of our packing stuff. We have totes and all kinds of stuff in the hallway, which uh, we're just gonna ignore that. We have a shoe closet here, which just has shoes. And then I have my cute little Mulan lounge fly bag, which is like my most favorite purse I have. I love it so much. And then yeah, we just have our TV mounted on the wall and then the entertainment center and bagels tank. Then you move over to the dining room. Here is Butter's Tank, which you guys have seen hundreds of times, I feel like. This is just a standard dining room with a white antique table set that we got when we first bought the house. There, I turned the light on, made it a little bit brighter for you guys. Then you go over here into the kitchen. This is what my kitchen looks like. That is a pantry and laundry room back there. So here is my kitchen. And then like I said, we have the laundry room and pantry back there. This is just what the kitchen looks like. I filmed lots of videos and feeding all my pet videos in this kitchen. So that's pretty much what that looks like. Then if you come back into the living room, we have a door here that leads to the master bedroom. So this is my master bedroom. Love the fan over there. Patrick gets really hot at night, so we have a box fan. We also really like the noise. Uh, yeah, but this is my master bedroom in here. This bedroom set is really pretty and really old, super heavy. Um, it was actually a gift from my parents when we got married, so we'll probably have it forever. It's really pretty. Here is our dresser in my bedroom, which I don't think I've ever shown before, but it is incredibly heavy. It's really, really big, and it does obviously match the bed. It goes with the furniture suit. This dresser is massive and super super heavy it takes like three people to move it it's kind of crazy and yes we have a tv on top of it right now because again we're moving we didn't want to mount it on the wall but it's fine these are the barn doors i showed you guys in a previous video um i actually bought these barn doors and had patrick install them because i loved having barn doors going into the bathroom so this is the master bathroom that is in our bedroom. Nothing crazy, it's not very big, but Patrick did renovate it and put in like a new toilet. He did new flooring and then we got a new vanity and I think it's really, really pretty. I really like this bathroom. Patrick did a really good job renovating it. So yeah, that is my master bathroom. So this room right here is a guest bedroom, but it is my brother's, so we're not going in there. And then this is actually a big linen closet that's in the hallway. I love this closet so much, and I'm gonna show you guys what's in there, but please don't make fun of me. You guys are gonna crack up when you see what's in here. 
So right now, the only thing in my linen closet is my bags, purses, and lounge fly backpacks and like Disney stuff. I don't even know. It's so random. Those are just some packing boxes. But I basically have my lounge fly bags in here, just a few that I own, and that's all that's in this closet, honestly. Is this not the cutest bag ever? It's so cute, I haven't used it, but it's a Nightmare Before Christmas bag by Lounge Fly. I love lounge fly bags, I have quite a few. If you guys ever want a collection video, let me know. And then this is my guest bathroom, it's my brother's bathroom. Um, we did do new flooring in here, new toilet, new paint, we painted it, new mirror, new light. So this bathroom got a really nice makeover, and I really like it. And then it does have a shower stall over here. And that is pretty much it. And then of course the last bedroom is of course my pet room. You guys have seen this room time and time again. You're very familiar with it. This is the room I definitely spend the most time in and I obviously love it very much. But yeah, that wraps up this house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. All right guys, that is it for this house tour. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you guys so much for following along on this journey. I know that the videos have been kind of scarce and I've only been putting up about one a week instead of my usual two or three, but things have been so insane. We have been working so hard just to get ready with paperwork, with listing our house, looking for more houses, viewing farms, like it's been a lot, but I really appreciate your guys' patience and I hope that you enjoyed this house tour. If you did, feel free to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future updates on me moving or buying a farm or getting more animals or whatever we do in the future. I hope that you enjoy. All right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Be kind, bye.